All right, what up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to today's vlogs. Here to continue more previews and teams in the ACC conference. And for this vlog, I'm here to talk about the Duke Blue Devils. Now, head coach Jake Cut Cutcliffe has did a great job last season, leading the team to a nine and four record. Did lose in that bowl matchup, but they're looking to rebound again this year and make it to become bowl contenders and possibly make it to an ACC championship. But I think. This is going to be a down year for the Blue Devils this season because they're going to have to reload both at wide receiver as well as at quarterback. Anthony Boone's actually out, so which means Thomas Kirk is going to have to take over at the helm at quarterback. He did have three touchdown passes last season, but very little experience. He is a junior this season. Now at wide receiver, they're, lead, they're, lead, they're going to have to play without all-time leader in, in yards in, in, on Jameson on Crowder, who actually had three consecutive thousand yards season and also they have to lose second on leading receiver in Isaac Blakingly who is now with the My San Francisco 49ers which means senior Max on McCaffrey and juniors Anthony Nash and John Nell Barnes is going to have to take over in the rotation at the receiver position. Now they do have two returning running backs who had a couple, a couple of decent seasons last year as a tandem and Shaquille Powell who had um, um, over um, just, just over 500 yards rushing 4.6 yards per carry. Now he is five foot ten, two hundred and five pounds. He is the bulkier between the two compared to sophomore Sean Wilson, five foot nine, one hundred and eighty pounds. He is the more of the nifty between the two because he averaged seven point seven yards per carry. So that is the good news as far as the offensive side. They still had the, the top two running backs returning for another season. Now on the defensive side, they actually allowed twenty one point six points per game, and they do have the return of Kelby Brown, who had a, was a medical registered last season and in 2013 he registered 107 tackles and two interceptions in 2013 and he's looking to have a great year to end his career as a blue devil and also the return of second team all performer in the big in the Atlanta a ACC conference last season and Jeremy um, Cash who was second team with 11, 111 tackles, two interceptions and seven pass breakups last year. Now as far as the um, incoming freshmen this year, they have two four star recruits. Start with the number 27 overall wide receiver and, and Keiston Fuller. That is a decent player. He's a little bit undersized though as far as his weight, just 170 pounds. Just hope he just bulks up just a little bit but I believe do believe he's just at, he's at the six foot range at at the receiver position. And secondly, they picked up the number 22 outside linebacker and Ben Humphreys. He too does need to bulk up. He's six foot two, 202 pounds. And lastly, they did pick up the number 48 offensive tackle out of Westlake Village, California. He played for Oaks Christian High and Reno Rosine. I think this is a decent pickup as well as the offensive tackle. Now this year, like I said, I do believe that this team will struggle. I barely have them going 500 this year because of the change at quarterback and it had to reload at the receiver position. Position. That is a major concern. Don't really know how they're going to par this upcoming season. So I'm going to go at, um, at a 50 50 range in this one and have them going 6 and 6. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. The next blog I'm going to talk about is the Florida State Seminoles. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.